Clive. Wake up. Gav's back. Ken Ovend. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well... When you put it that way... <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But... <laughs> He's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. Stock okay. Current Stolas forging recipe. Hammer okay. Not that settled. There's someone I want you to meet at this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. <laughs> the one they captured, the the one they called Dominant Fire. It actually looks like him. The one that uh, Clive saw before. All hell broke loose. That's someone else. What you have? What you Not have? A match, but you're free to look. Long sword. Yep, give me that. I hope it's to your liking. Good day. Did it change? Yeah, it changed. Is there anything else? Can I zoom in? Oh, that's all the way. Fuck. Is there anything else here? No, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Hey then. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You won't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is... An old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't? No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. 
As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. This thing really works. <laughs> He's actually gonna fucking test it out. Oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah, everything is about this crystals. Crystals, they, they, they fucking give, pour out water. Crystal gives you light. Holy shit. No wonder the blight is happening. You're relying on too much on the crystals. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you go look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have done. Thank you. Other guy here? Yeah, he's here. I thought he's gonna be like somewhere else, like inside the building. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Look at that! Another, another fucking crystal. God damn it! Oh my god! They're relying on the crystal too much, man. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now. Along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Whenever it does that, it sounds like an explosion. Like there's a fight somewhere. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. 
If the Waludas have her, our dominance like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Where's my dog? I haven't seen my dog for a while. Is he sleeping? Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quinton. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at their deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road south then? Unless. I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. <laughs> Let me see, uh, just to make sure there's no, like, like, side quest. I want some XP. You never know when I fucking meet a powerful enemy. That beat the shit out of me. Where the fuck is this? I'm in a fire. God damn it. That fake bastard, he still didn't even talk. I can't bear another night without you. Fuck. Fuck. Like I said, what's wrong with you? The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Cair Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? Yes, I am. If the Royalists were looking to take the care that have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises, at least I would have. Well, you should know. Are we not gonna talk about he used to be the commander of the of our enemies right now? Sid cannot be like some kind of secret bad guy. He can't. Wrong way, friend. The is behind you. No, fuck you, bitch. You're in the wrong place. Stay down. Wait, can you control these bastards? Yeah. What the fuck? I thought they were just wild beasts, but actually they can control them. Oh. Somehow I level up. Changes everything. I mean, it's bait? Fuck. 
I actually clicked circle. I didn't need to. That's enough. Here we go. Fire in your balls. That's how I defeated you. <laughs> I just can't get enough with him, like kicking them up in the air and fucking slashing them. I'll tell your lady. You try. I don't care who else is in there. He just wants the guy who has the icon of fire. That's who he wants. What about the peoples? The civilians. Oh, what the fuck? They're blending in. I didn't see them. nearby much as I enjoy battering down the front door I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact there's an old sluice that empties under the bridge it should see us through to the lower levels of the care Did. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are. But who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Hey. Hmm? 